Hi there, this is Mr. Klein, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to share your storyboard. Um, as you can see, I have a storyboard here titled, Where's Mr. Klein? Um, you can go through and you can read, you know, sorry bro, but he's one cool dude, and then read through it and find it. So, say I want to share this with Mrs. Wagler, or anywhere else on Google Classroom. What we can do is we can scroll down a little bit, and the easiest way to do this would be to print it. So we're going to click on the print button. And you can either do the storyboard only or storyboard and text. Uh, it's up to your teacher as to how you would like this. I'm going to choose the storyboard only. And it gives you a nice little print preview. Now instead of actually printing it, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually save this as a PDF. So your destination here should say save as PDF. Um, if you have to change that, then a way to change that would be to go into your different destinations here. Usually mine says um, follow me print, but in this case I'm going to choose save as PDF. So I choose save as PDF and click on the blue save button. This will give me an option of where I want to save it. So I'm going to save it to my dot desktop. I'll save. So now that my this is, turns into a PDF. Now that it is saved, then I can go back over to my Google Classroom and find the class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it. So I'm going to click on Add, and I'm going to click on File, because you have a file. Uh, you didn't save in your Google Drive. You don't want to go there. Uh, well, I guess you could have, but I just clicked it on my, uh, saved it to my desktop. So let's go to File. And so I'm going to select the files from my computer, and it's going to be on my desktop. It should be a PDF here titled, Where's Mr. Client? So I will click on that, click Open. And it should, there's my file. So I'm going to upload that. And notice it says it's a PDF now. And as soon as I upload it, it's going to show up. Click on Turn In. Voila. You are all done. So once you click on the turn in a couple times, that should go to Mrs. Wagler and she should be able to see the wonderful storyboard that you made. So I hope this helps you in how to upload your storyboard, save it and upload it to your Google Classroom. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or talk to Mrs. Wagler. Have a great day.